Awesome. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the AI for Java Developer Series. I'm joined by Rory Preddy, who's going to be talking to us about accessibility, especially with Copilot. Rory, do you mind giving us a quick intro, but then also telling us a bit about what our session is going to be about? Thanks. Thanks, Ian. And I'm really excited. I've done this session for the VS Code live stream before, and it really hit uh, a, a lot of uh, interesting topics and got great feedback. Now, what this session is, I'm going to give you a whirlwind tour on what accessibility is and the Microsoft tools you can use to fix the accessibility, focusing on AI and also some of our, um, our check tools. Um, and at the same time, I'm going to also give you some insight into Visual Studio Code and the Xlinter, which is one of our partner's tools, though. So no slides, only code. And a lot of nice toys. That's that's what we're going to uh, have uh, coming up. Awesome. Sounds good, Rory. Let's go ahead and dive in. OK, so this is Visual Studio Code. Um, and we work with the Visual Studio Code teams and our partners. And one of our partners, there's an extension you can uh, download called Xlinter. So that's the first little tool I want to uh, discuss with you is uh, the Xlinter here. And you can see. Uh, if you go into Xlinter here, uh, we have Xlinter, and this is run by DQ Labs. Now, remember this, because this is the same rules engine I'm going to show you with one of our other tool sets. They are the de facto standard, the gold standard for uh, rule checks, and we use them in our DevOps in, in nearly everything we do. And the minute you, 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 you see uh, you install it and you have some HTML files here, you'll see there that it underlines there, and it says, Xlinter says you are not compliant. You haven't done the right thing. So what, what do you do here? So you can see there, Xlinter uh, image alt elements have an alternative text or role or presentation in Xlinter. And this brings us to the first issue around accessibility. Now, accessibility has four principles. And these are the, the Web uh, Center for Accessibility Guidelines. You have to be able to perceive it. So hear and see. You have to be able to navigate it. So you have to go and you have to be able to use a keyboard or a mouse correctly. Um, you have to understand it, so neurodiverse. And then it also needs to be robust. Like um, uh, it, you, if you have a portrait phone and you turn it to landscape, it needs to be responsive. Those are the only four principles you need to know. But there are about a 1,000 rules inside those principles. And I'm going to show you an easy, quick way to actually do it. So the first thing, you, you get Xlinter, and you, you can mouse over here, and it says, um, the image that you're displaying here, person in wheelchair, and I generated that, I'm going to show you to you now, is not compliant because you don't have an alt tag. Now, if you use a screen reader software, the screen reader needs to understand what you're seeing there. And it gives you the op option there to, to view the problem. And you can also follow the link. So check this out. Follow link there. And you get the, the image there. And that's the, the image. And that's a person in a wheelchair. And I've made it very difficult for AR to determine what it is, though, because that that is actually generated by me um, in the style of uh, Van Gogh or, or, or Monet. We also have um, some other text here. So you've got a form field here. And if you notice, the form field says the input element rep represents a type data field, usually a form control to allow the user to edit the data. There is no form. There is no labels there. So a screen reader software or a accessible software won't be able to actually understand that those are inputs there because you're not actually telling it what it's labeled in. And that's classic good semantic HTML. Now, semantic HTML is like kind of pure HTML. And one thing that you'll know about HTML, it's very seldom pure. It's just gobbledygook or, all the time. And then you've got low contrast test. And this text has a low contrast with the background. That's not going to show you with the Xlinter. I'm going to show you how the tools can do that uh, and help you there. A table without headers. So Xlinter doesn't pick this out. Using color alone to convey information. Um, and then missing alternative text on an image. Unclear form instructions. Uh, using non-semantic HTML elements. And then using JavaScript to change focus. Now, Ian, did you know that all of this, every single um, except for the image, was actually created with uh, GPT, chat GPT. So I went to chat GPT and I said, I want to do something terrible. I want to do a demo of non-accessible HTML text. Please generate this file for me. But if wow. it can generate it, I know you, uh, you're smelling what I'm selling here, can fix it also. 
So before I fix it, I want to show you how you can actually determine those other issues using color alone to convey information, uh, the table without headers. So a lot of those issues you can't actually get Xlint to do. So I'm going to open up this file here. I'm going to go uh, Reveal in File Explorer. I'm just going to open it up in Edge here. You can see here, image without alternative text. There's the wheelchair here, non-descriptive link text, mission form labels, low contrast text, table without headers, using color alone, and then missing alternative text there, unclear form instructions, using non-semantic HTML elements, using JavaScript to change focus without notification. Lots and lots of stuff, but watch this. I'm just going to click on this, Accessibility Insights for Web, which is a Chrome and also an Edge plugin. And you can actually go in there. You can switch on color uh, or switch off color. You can add uh, headers if you want to do check headers, accessible names, needs, uh, and then tab stops. So if you want to navigate, it can actually go through there. And you can see all the tab stops fine. But more importantly, what I promised you is where are the issues and what are the issues? So I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to run fast pass. Remember the Xlinter? It basically runs the Xlinter now in the Chrome browser. So I can click on fast pass. Wow, failed instances. And it gives you the visual helper, color contrast, alt image, label, link name. And if we go back to there, look at that. It actually gives us the, the view for each one of those. So you can actually click on that, like that. And then it'll give you every, ensure every form element has a label. You can inspect the HTML. You can copy the failure detail and how to fix it. Fix one of the following. And you can file the issue straight into GitHub. We use this right now to test 9,000 websites. And we also use the equivalent of this in DevOps to go in and run uh, it in an automatic uh, mechanism though. But it's very manual. So we can go in and we can fix those issues. Um, or we can actually go in and use AI, which we're about to do. If you wanted to do the full Compliant test also, you can go in assessment. And on assessment here, this is, uh, let's go start new here. And it runs through all the checks that we did there and also native widgets, timed events, languages, passing, everything that you have. And you'll get a full WCAG 2.1 AA compliant. Um, and a lot of banks and a lot of institutions actually use that though. But we, we don't want to do that just right now. We want to see some nice little uh, AI here. So I've shown you that. Let's go out of here now. And now let's go the first part that we're going to fix it. So let's go first. Okay, let's see if we can fix it. GitHub, create, GitHub Copilot created it. Let's see if we can fix it. So I want to need an alt image here. So I'm going to go quick fix. Now I can explain it with uh, Copilot. And then I've got Copilot chat running in there. And it says, you need to go in alt image there. And you can go do that also. And uh, it will go in and now say, cool, person in wheelchair. Clever, hey? Or I can, I can just go quick fix. And I can go fix using Copilot. And it's going to go there. Cool. Uh, let's just see there. You can see there, excellent. It's already done that. And accept. And done. And now excellent I shouldn't actually complain about that. Uh, is it complaining about that? No, that did not work at all. Let's try that again. Let's go there. This is what happens when you use AI without. Uh, let's go excellent. Uh, quick fix. Fix using AI. Let's see if we can actually go fetching response. Second iteration of, ah, running a second iteration. Oh, it's clever, hey? It knows it's, uh, it's, it's confused itself, though. So it's, it might have hallucinated in the beginning, but uh, maybe not, though. So let, let's see. Uh, OK, uh, let's go. OK, let's like that. Let's go back there. Let's go accept. Let's close that. Hopefully, we have some good stuff here. There, done. We, we've got the alt tag there. So you can do that, but you can also go, if I wanted to here, let's let's undo that here. Check this out. You can go, please make this page accessible. Um, accessible. Accessible? Yes. And it's just going to go here, and it's, it's going to write and generate the code for me without much. And that is so much easier um, to, <laughs> to do, though. But... You still have to go in there, and you can uh, control A, control C. So let's go in, and let's paste it in there. Let's see if the excellent picks it up. Nope. All the form fields are done. Oh, it deleted half the text. Look at that. No, 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 no. Uh, do, uh, do the entire file, please. Always say please to the AR. OK, else it gets angry. No, but also the A, uh, please in indicates that it's on the right path. So you need to actually say please to all of our AIs. I'm not joking. We've been told, we've been uh, trained to do that. Okay, so let's go here. Accessible, 
a legend. There's a legend. Oh, okay. There's there's a lot here. There's, it might be doing it a little bit too much around that. So let, let's just go into copy that. And uh, there we go. Linter doesn't pick up anything here. And now let's go open the file and let's see if the, if you remember uh, what we did there, accessibility insights, let's right click here, reveal in file explorer. Let's uh, go open there. And now let's see the moments of glory and fast pass. Ah, it just didn't pick up label. Okay, uh, let's let's actually go in there and let's let's fix it here. Um, let, well, this is a good time for me to fix it with one of the bots that we've built. So let's close this here. Uh, does it pick it up there? Let's just make sure labels here. Ah, okay, changing focus with notification, focus text box. It didn't like that label. So right at the bottom there, it didn't actually like that. So this is what we're looking to do here. So input text equals text box, and it should actually have a uh, label just for your interest there. Um, and then you can actually do a, a label into like that. But I want to I want to show you, I want to test this here. So one of the things that we built here, if we go view, uh, sorry, terminal, new terminal, let me just undo that there. And get that text there. No, 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 edit, redo. So that's the, the kind of working HTML here. Now we built a bot that ties into, L, uh, that scans your entire um, project called Li Bot. So we can go Li dash dash fix. Uh, let's just scan it first, scan. And then we want to go index bad, index bad. So what this is going to do, it's going to use the Playwright uh, engine to go in and open up a Chrome browser, scan the changes that we did with the X rules engine, then go into OpenAR that I've got running on the background, and then say fix everything for us automatically. So first we're going to scan it, uh, fixing accessibility issues in index.html. This is one of our beta test bots that we're actually running out to 9,000 websites internally at uh, Microsoft. And we're getting a, a lot of people to help us searching for fixes for index.html. And it will chunk it up, put it into a MongoDB database, and then test each one, one by one, to actually find a fix though. So just to recap while it's doing that, once we showed you the Excelenta to go in and identify those issues, we then went in and showed you the Accessibility Insights for web. You also get a Windows version and also an Android version. Then we showed you how you can actually run the fast pass on that and get those issues and identify them. Then we showed you how to use GitHub Copilot, both with a little bit of a, like fix this issue and also go in, take the whole file and generate the whole file uh, for you with that. Finally, well, if this does come back here, yeah, searching for fixes for index.html, you can use OpenAI, Azure OpenAI, to go in and do the same thing that we did with GitHub Copilot, but the difference between this one, uh, there we go, apply changes. Let's just see if it uh, likes it here. Missing alternative text. Okay, so let's go yes. Fixing accessibility issues in bad, but this can do it in bulk. So imagine you have thousands of files on issues on everything like this, and this bot is just gonna go in there and say, okay, catch the issues before you, you, you encounter them. Because once you have an issue in production, I am, it's very difficult to go in and solve that issue because then you have to go and push a, a PR and do all of those issues um, around it though. So this bot we are identifying as catching it before the issues are um, ad, ad, well uh, grown. We call it the Hydra, which is the mythical creature, a Greek mythical object. So as the bugs kind of get into production, you chop one of the Hydra's head off and just another one grows immediately from that though. So. Yeah, we're hoping that this will, will fix a lot of issues, though. Um, yeah, so that's everything I wanted to show you today. It's a lot to take in. We've got the Excellenter, we've got the Accessibility Insights, and we have the AR. And all of those combined gives you the ability to actually go in and slay the Hydra. Wow, that's amazing, Rory. Definitely lots of ways to improve our accessibility when we are developing websites and programs. Um, really appreciate your time today. And hopefully for everybody who tuned in to watch, you now have new tools in your toolbox to better develop with accessibility in mind. Thanks. Thanks, Ian. And you know, notice what it did there. It's actually fixing the, the, the good one also because it didn't like some of the things in the good one also. Just fix the, the, the bad one. Um, and uh, let, me, let me bring you back quickly. I want to scan it one more time just for that 
that good feel there. So let's let's go into bad. It did fix the the bad one there. Let's go reveal an ex file explorer there, and let's see if it actually did fix it. Uh, it is still in beta, so if it didn't fix everything, we are still um, testing it. So let's go fast pass here. Ah, okay, so it still didn't like that label. That's probably a wire about there. But then you need to go in there, and you need to see, okay, what do you need to do? And then you you need to actually go in. Uh, let's just see here. Intros every element has a label. And you can actually go in there. And then you can uh, select the, the issue there with CAG, and it will tell you on why that issue is around it there. So um, lots to read. Um, lots to do, and uh, thank you, everyone. And you can reach me on Twitter on at Rory Purdy. Awesome! Thanks, everybody. See ya. Cheers, everyone.